This quote resonates with me on a personal and professional level. Reflecting on my own experience growing up in a predominantly white area, children's books and reading were the main way I learned about people who didn't look like me or had different lived experiences than me. Having books that functioned as windows and books that functioned as mirrors helped me figure out how I fit in the world. It's important to me to bring a critical lens to library collections as they've historically been made up of books and information created by white folks for other white folks. And that leaves out a significant amount of our UMD community. Windows are when you're reading a book based on a different culture or experience. For example, I grew up reading this book with my grandma called The Rough Face Girl, and it was basically a Native American twist on the original Cinderella story. And uh mirrors is like when you're reading a book that relates to yourself like and you're able to reflect on it and like even like realize more things about who you are. Where we grew up the libraries and books that were provided to us did not portray identities different from our own very often so we usually saw ourselves as the majority race represented in all the books that we were reading in school. Through our children's literature class, we have got to read books that are windows into people's lives that are much different than ours. Some of the books we liked, liked were At a Twist Scientist, Nino, It's Okay to Be Different, and Julian is a Mermaid. Growing up, I always felt that I was very represented through the stories and literature that I had access to. They almost always centered around a white main character, which I always felt I could relate to and I always saw myself in. Um, as an educator, I really hope that there's a lot more representation in literature and that I personally can supply my students with a whole wide range of books and literatures that offer a whole lot of windows and mirrors for all my students for them to see themselves in because every student deserves to write to see themselves in the books and to find a relatable story for them to read. We shouldn't just have single stories painted throughout our libraries. When I was younger and my family would read to me or I would get read to at school, there was definitely a lot of representation that I was able to um, relate to. Um, often it would be younger white girls that would be in books and I could obviously relate to those. Um, I definitely think that there needs to be more representation of diversity in the books that we read in our classrooms as they definitely are mirrors and windows for kids. Um, and if we're lacking in other types of cultures or diversity, those kids don't get to relate to books um, like I did. And I definitely think that that was really important for me as a child and getting to read those books. I typically see myself represented in children's books um, with the white characters. And I honestly wish there was more books about um, like children that have a hard time reading and that have a hard time focusing because that's kind of me. So I wish there was more children's books like that with tips, tips and tricks for that. Yeah. I mean, I also like, have a lot of, I mean, I'm able to reflect on these books as a white person as well. Um, I really like reading children's books that have like diversity because it's like fun to see how other people experience things as well. And I believe that there should be more representation in children's books, whether that is color, blue skin, religion, or mental disorders or anything like that, because it's better to have it at a young age than not at all. So we all agree that we saw more of ourselves in a lot of the picture books that we've read growing up and now in these classrooms, the books we've read, we're just, we saw ourselves and then more of the um, other cultures and other views that we didn't get. Um, we felt like a lot of the books that we read as like kids, if we read books from other, like explaining other cultures or whatever, um, not or whatever, but like if we read books from other cultures, um, it was very separated. Like they never integrated that culture with, you know, like white culture. Does that, does that yeah. make sense? Okay. Um, so they were like very like segregated topics that no one really wanted to talk about, I guess. Yeah, um, <laughs> I agree with both of those. Growing up, I mainly read books that I saw myself in. So then it kind of makes you feel for the other students that were maybe from different cultures or had different skin colors, then kind of realizing that they didn't get to see themselves as much. So yeah, it kind of shows that when you're a teacher, you should pick out books that include everybody. 
Um, as a kid, I read a lot of books and I really did mirrors and windows. Um, I read a lot of animal books, so and about books about the world and different cultures. So I personally enjoy windows because I can view the world around me and feel different perspectives. I enjoy reading books um, that have more of windows because you were able to see into the lives of other people. I think as a kid though, I read more books about mirrors. I'd find myself finding books that I could relate to, but then as I got older, I'd read books like that I related more to windows. In terms of mirrors about um, my future as well, like the giving tree, I wanted to be giving and I kind of learned it through that mirror interaction. Yeah, and when a child can't um, find their own reflection in a book, they might feel powerless or like devalued in society, which is not a good thing for them to be thinking because everyone is valued.